Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Divorced Woman's Guide podcast. It is Wendy, and I am your host, also known as your own divorced woman's guide. How are you guys doing today? I hope that wherever it is that you are in your day that you are listening to this podcast with a smile on your face and an open mind. And the reason I say that is because today's episode is going to talk about spiritual awakening. And in fact, what I'm really going to talk about is uncovering your spiritual gift from your divorce. And I'm going to share that based on what it was that I experienced and what I received. So before I dive into this week's episode, I just want to take a moment and remind you guys, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, definitely do so so that you don't miss a single episode. And be sure to check out my book, Divorce Sucks Now What? You can purchase it on Amazon. It is available in paperback or on Kindle. So let's dive in. So I really, when I think about my whole divorce recovery process, my healing took place in basically three stages that I can break it down into. And that's how I'm going to relate back to our topic today, which really is all about those spiritual gifts. So my first stage had to do with being in the thick of it, right? Going through and being in and on the roller coaster of divorce, right? So you're in the thick of it. Your head is in that constant spinning mode where it doesn't shut up. It's constantly talking at you. Your fears are running rampant and you are just trying to survive. You're just trying to get through the day. You're still at that point where tears are streaming. You're t listening to podcasts, you're reading books. Maybe you're also in therapy like I was. But I still felt in overwhelm. I was stressed. I was anxious. I wasn't eating. I was so bitter and resentful of what was happening. I was in denial, too. <laughs> How many of you guys can relate to that? I was in such denial of what was happening. And I kept, I remember I kept saying to myself, like, how is this happening to me? This is not supposed to be happening to someone like me. Like literally said that, you guys, and being totally honest. And what was going on for myself during that stage was like, I, it was almost like I felt so disconnected because I was numb. I couldn't even, I wanted to be more numb because I didn't want to feel all the pain and the anguish that I was going through. And so my stage, the stage that I was at that point in time, it was like I was grasping. I was just trying to get a hold of anything and everything, okay? And nothing was really sticking. Nothing was really working until I got my sign from a Facebook post that talked to me about life coaching. And this is where I get into stage two, which is really how the divorce rehab came to be, which is my five-step program. And that's when I really stepped into and committed, okay? I was fully committed to my own rehabilitation, right? So this is the point where I was like, okay, I get that my childhood messed me up. I get how I sourced my marriage. I get how I show up. And I'm still a people pleaser. And I'm still wanting to go back to my codependent marriage. How do I get out of this? How do I get unstuck? And that's where coaching came into play. Coaching was really the ticket that showed me what was possible looking forward instead of constantly staying stuck in the back of my mind because of therapy. And so I was at this place where I was finally able to get tools to see and to envision the life that I desired. And I was just in it. I was doing anything and everything. I was hired a coach. I went and I went bigger. I went home, right? I hired a coach. I enrolled in learning how to be a coach, to get certified as a coach. I was taking, I was doing Reiki. I was taking spiritual psychology courses here in the Los Angeles area. And I was in this, I'm going to rehabilitate myself. I'm going to get my mind straight. It was so much mindset work that I was focused on during this rehabilitation stage. 
which is how I came up with my five-step program, right? The R for rehab is all about rediscovering your voice and identity. The E is all about ending your pity party and your victim mindset. The H is about healing all the wounds associated with your divorce because you're really mourning more than just your marriage falling apart. The A is all about accountability, right? The missing piece to your recovery process is being held accountable by somebody else and your acceptance that your marriage is over. And the B is the fifth step is really building that new foundation. And I was able to get there, took me longer, and now I've condensed the process for my clients, which is great news. So it's able to happen more quickly. But I, as I was going through this particular stage, it was really about me getting grounded in the mindset of who I was. And I was also in trying to come up with what my whole reality was supposed to look like now, right? I'd been living in a fog in my marriage. And as I was going through this rehabilitation of myself and my identity and my voice, I was starting to see that there was this whole other world that I was so blind to before. And at the time, I was so in awe and I was like, oh my God, look at this gift. Look at the silver linings that I have come up with. What I didn't know at the time was that the biggest gift of my divorce had yet to come. I was still in the gift receiving process. I was still in my own spiritual awakening. And what I ultimately then realized was that there was a part of me that was still connected to my marriage, to my ex-husband. And it was such, it was on such a deep, soulful, spiritual level that was connected to my heart, directly connected to my heart. And I will never forget when I finally allowed myself the opportunity to heal my heart. And that came through theta healing. I am an advanced theta healer now because of that experience. And what ended up happening was that was the first time that I allowed my heart to open, that I had allowed my heart to restart with a new rhythm, a rhythm that was all my own, not a rhythm that was preconceived by my family or my ex-husband, but it was my own rhythm, my heart. And I refer to it now as my spiritual heart. And my spiritual heart started opening from that day forward. And once it was opened, you guys, what I learned changed the trajectory of my entire life. And what happened was once I allowed my heart to fully open, my spiritual heart to receive, I learned about forgiveness. Yes, the F word, forgiveness, forgiveness of myself. And when I finally grasped the concept of forgiveness, whoo, you guys, holy crap, abundance flooded my life. I started having clients pour in very easily. I was able to increase my rates and people were paying them. I was being invited to speak on podcasts. I was being invited to speak on virtual stages because this happened and started during COVID. I was getting paid to speak on stages. And I finally got to launch my own podcast. And it just took off. It just boomed like crazy. My numbers have been insane since. And I'm going to tell you that the reason why, okay, and this is my stage three, right? The reason why was because I was standing in a whole new embodiment of my own energy. I became a whole new version of myself who realized that the entire purpose of my life was to grow spiritually. That has been my third stage of my divorce. That has been the biggest gift that I have received. And I would have never gotten here had I not gone through those earlier stages. And so what I get to do is really 
teach women now how to find what your real purpose is. And the only way to do that is by connecting with your spiritual heart. And what opens up when that happens is understanding the true, the real reason why it is that you are going through your divorce. And it is tied back to whatever spiritual advancement is required of you in this life. It is so incredibly powerful it when you discover this and when you step into this place because it literally helped me to solve every quote unquote problem that I had in my life. Money was no longer scarce. My family dynamic was starting to come together. I was able to open my heart up and to start dating again. I was able to create a better co-parenting relationship with my ex-husband. Everything started to become so much easier because when I stepped into my spiritual heart, this new energy vibration that I created for myself, all of a sudden, everything just fell into place so much more easily, so much more easily. If you are somebody who is wanting to get in touch with your spirituality, if you are somebody who this podcast is really resonating with, good. Keep listening because I'm going to tell you one more thing, okay? Behind every single problem that you see in your life, behind every fear, there is always a spiritual solution. Always. And the way in which you go about finding that solution is opening yourself up. In other words, expanding your awareness. Moving beyond this like narrow vision, like almost like what I'm what I want to say is like moving beyond just like a human vision of your problems. And so when you expand and you open yourself up spiritually, guess what happens? Not only do you think that there are solutions appearing, but what is more powerful that happens is that you don't even see any problems anymore. What are obstacles that are detours? There are opportunities for you to realign yourself with your spiritual heart. It's when it's that point when your inner and your outer worlds are finally reflective of one another. There's no conflict. There's no confusion. And it's because you are operating at that higher vibration, that higher energy level, where you are in full alignment with your truest best self. And as you continue in this process, it's an always on, it's an always on transformation. As you are continuing to connect, to take a step closer to that higher, truer self. That's the beauty of connecting with a deeper version of yourself. That is the spiritual gift of your divorce. Call it a silver lining. Call it whatever resonates with you right now. But what I know to be true is that you, just like me, can heal and transform your life when you integrate that spiritual piece. It's typically the piece that is missing. It is the piece that I have trained and become an expert on helping my clients through because that is the piece that's keeping you stuck. It is the piece that is tethering you to your past. And so I hope that with today's episode that it has given you a little bit more, a little bit more insight around what it is that's keeping you stuck, what it is that you get to see now as the gift, the spiritual gift, the spiritual awakening of your divorce. And as always, if you guys need help, if this is resonating with you, let's jump on a complimentary call. Go to www.contactwendy.com and let's jump on a call and figure this out. All you have to do is believe that there is a higher power. That's all that is required in order for your awareness to expand. You have the ability to do this. I know it. And I know that you do too. 
So I hope that you enjoyed this week's podcast episode. I know that it's coming from my spiritual heart, hoping to crack open yours today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to leave me a five-star review. I appreciate it. It helps more people to find my podcast. And I wish you guys a beautiful rest of your day. Sending you so much love, light, and joy as always. Mwah. Bye, everybody.